Today, I'm going to teach you how to crush this game by understanding echoes in a way that's really simple to understand, easy to implement, and easy to customize to your own personal needs. So let's go ahead and get into this. So listen guys, Echoes is a system that when you first look at it, it's, it's extremely complicated, or at least it seems like it at first glance. Now, before we even get into to Echoes, there's a couple of key things that you guys need to understand. Well, one key thing you guys need to understand. Before you even start to use Echoes or understand how to get Echoes or where to get them or how to, you know, put them in the best place, you need to understand how to build your characters. Now, I've noticed a lot of players coming to Wuthering Waves are not gadget players. I'm not used to this stat buildup. So I'm going to give you the three or four most important stats that you need to look for in order of importance. And it's going to be really quick. And if you remember this, you'll win every time. Now, what you guys need to understand is when you guys look at your character, they are all, they're all going to have stats. Every single character is going to most likely scale off of attack power unless in their skills, like if you guys go down here to their skills, it will specify otherwise. So if it, you know, let's say for example, um, this said off of defense or off of health or HP, then it would tell you that their skills scale off of those stats instead of attack. So always assume attack unless it, it says otherwise. Now, understanding that there are four important stats in order of importance, first one being the most important, last one um, obviously being important, but it will come later on when you have access to stronger gear that will have more stats or it's easier to get the stats. But attack for damage dealers is always going to be the most important. Okay. Now, after you look at attack, the next thing is going to be crit rate. Attack and crit rate are going to be the most important things. Now, the reason why crit rate is so important is because this is your chance to deal bonus damage. So if you, the higher your crit rate is, the more consistent your damage output will be. Once you have those two stats locked in place, then of course you want to get as much crit damage as possible without sacrificing all of your crit rate and or your attack. And fourth, once you guys get everything squared away, then whatever corresponding element your character is. So if they're ice, Get more ice damage if they're havoc get more havoc damage so on and so forth so now that you guys understand that now we can actually get into the echoes themselves now the most important thing to understand about echoes is first things first is where the hell do you get them? all right now if you guys go into your options and you guys open up your database uh or your data bank this is going to show you where to get all of the echoes. Now, this is really, really important because as you guys look at this database, this is going to tell you where to spot, find specific schools of echoes. Uh, you can even track them if you're looking for a specific type, and then you guys can kind of go from there. Now, the reason why this is important is because you guys want to make sure, okay, that you guys are leveling up your data bank because as your data bank goes up, it increases the chances of you finding higher grade echoes. Now, I wish it was as simple as like getting a basic echo and being able to upgrade it to legendary, but that's not how this works. So as you go through the game, as you fill your database, kind of like Pokemon, you catch them all. What's going to happen is then your data bank is going to level up and then you'll have a higher chance to get, let's say, epic, which is purple or rare, which is blue. And then once you guys get to level 15, then you'll start getting into legendary equipment, okay? And the higher you go from there, the higher your chances to just only, well, not only, but pretty much get legendary. And then from there, you know, you're basically playing with the widest space of stats. Now, once you guys have this in mind, you guys are going to start looking at your characters based off of the type of equipment or echoes you want to, to use. Now, how you're going to do this effectively is when you guys look at your characters, the first thing you're going to see is, okay, what element are they? What do they do? Well, I'm looking at Ling Yang. He's a damage dealer and he's ice. So when I'm looking at what echoes to put on this particular character, I'm looking for echoes that, let's say, uh, increase his glacio damage, right? Uh, freezing frost upon using a basic attack or a heavy attack, glacio damage increases. So... 
as a simple format, I'm looking at things that are going to complement my character. Because I already understand that I need attack, crit rate, crit damage. And then remember I said this, the, the element damage that's relative to that character, right? And now we have all four of those things. Now, this is a simple, simple approach. And as you guys, uh, you know, go through these and you guys are looking at the drops, you guys will be able to pay attention to what stats are on your echoes. Now, one key thing to understand, and this is a big mistake that I made, is when I was killing these monsters in the world, I was thinking that only certain monsters drop echoes because I wouldn't see them all the time. What I didn't realize is that all of these monsters pretty much have a chance to drop these echoes. You just have to kill them enough for them to have a chance. And when they do drop the echoes and you absorb them, you can get duplicates, okay? And understand that sometimes these stats are the same, but most of the time they are completely random, okay? And so when you're looking at these, you got to really pay attention to what type of character you're building. So when you're putting these pieces of echoes together, you know exactly what you're looking for. So it may take you a few kills and a few absorptions to find the right item or the right echo that you're looking for to put on your character. And this is why I said it's so important in the beginning that you understand what stats specifically you're looking for. Um, you know, attack, crit rate, crit damage, and uh, the element uh, for the character that you're building. Now, things change a little bit when we start to get into healers, okay? Uh, so I'll just give you guys an example here, but let's say if you guys are, you know, a basic set for a healer, rejuvenating glow, right? If you use this set, it's plus healing if you have two of the, the echoes of the same type, or if you guys have five, all five slots are rejuvenating glow, then upon healing allies, it increases the attack of your entire team. Just think of it as having a portable Verena. But paying attention to what stats your units uh, or your heroes scale with. So for example, if I was using Verena as a healer, she scales with attack and it specifies in her skills. I'm going to make sure she has as much attack power as possible, not so much crit or crit damage because I just want to make sure her heals are as, as potent as possible. And then I'm probably going to stack uh, you know, a set of echoes like this on her to maximize her heal output, right? You guys catch what I'm saying? Okay. So now understanding those basics, there's a couple of key things that you guys need to understand about this as you guys put this in play. This is going to take some time. Um, this is going to take killing lots of bosses, uh, killing the correct enemies in the world, you know, identifying what enemies drop, what type of echo and where and how. And then, of course, killing these enemies to ensure that you get the right uh, <laughs> echo or the right stature that you're looking for. And another thing you guys are going to want to pay attention to is the quality of the echo that you're looking at. All right. Now, let me tell you why this is important. Now, when we go back into the data bank, as I mentioned before, as you guys collect these echoes in the world, you guys are going to fill your data bank. Now, as you fill your data bank, it's going to give you a greater chance to get higher quality stuff. Now, the beautiful thing about this is as you do this, this is going to give you access to more and more powerful echoes. Now, unfortunately, it's not as simple as just getting the most basic echo and upgrading it. So as you move up in world tiers or as your world levels up and as you increase this database, you're going to have to probably kill some of these creatures multiple times to ensure that you have the best gear available. Now, you could kind of say, well, I'll just wait till I get my world tier higher and then I'll go do it. But the challenge is then the monsters will just be clapping your cheeks and it'll make the game much harder than it needs to be. All right, so make sure that you guys are out there. Gotta catch them all. Making sure that you guys are getting all the echoes that you can. As you do this, making sure that you understand what stats are going on your characters from a basic you know, starting standpoint so you guys can get rolling, and then filling out sets of echoes that match the type of character that you're building. Now, in future videos, we'll talk about advanced build strategies, where like you can essentially change the whole entire typology of a character based on the echoes that you're using. Um, but that's a conversation for another day. But this strategy and utilizing these echoes really provides an opportunity for you to go crazy with customization and really maximize the amount of damage that your characters can deal. 
So I just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about this today. I've been getting a lot of questions about echoes and people like, well, I don't even know how the hell those things work or, you know, it's just overwhelming. Uh, So I wanted to just break this down into a step by step process that's easy to consume, easy to understand and easy to implement. So if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'd be happy to assist. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone and we'll see you guys in the next video.